Okay, so what is an armature? It's a support structure for any type of sculpture. Um, they're made out of lots of different things. Sometimes they're made out of wire, um, but the armature that we're gonna create is will be made out of newspaper or other scrap paper that we've got. Um, so just collect some stuff that you have around house. the house. Um, this one, you can kind of see underneath it, is balled up grocery bags, like plastic grocery bags, wrapped up in masking tape and then covered with paper on the outside. So that's a good option too. So find some materials and consider the size and the shape that you want your armature to be. So in general, I would say aim to have the size of a human face. But shape-wise, you might want to do something different. So like this student did wanted a mask that was going to be more elongated, so she made sure to create an armature that was also going to be elongated. And the other thing you might think about is the depth of your armature. Um, you're gonna want it to be pretty sizable in terms of the side view um, so that it doesn't appear flat because we're working in three dimensions. So on the other hand, this example of a mask that was made on top of an armature is has this additional snout added on that isn't part of the shape of the armature. It um, basically was made on an armature like this, but then the clay was added to make this part longer. So you don't have to consider every single detail and all of the features yet. You just want to make it, let's just say, about two to three inches deep or so. Um, and then as far as length and width is kind of up to you somewhere around the size of a human face. So things to think about. They're really simple to make. All you're gonna do is grab some paper and start to crumple it up. This is just from the recycle bin upstairs. And once you've gotten a few balls of paper, you can take a larger sheet and just wrap them all up inside the larger sheet. Still keeping in mind the approximate shape that you're going for. Something like that. going to take some tape just to hold it together. So I've got masking tape, but I think scotch tape would work fine. Um, theoretically, rubber bands would also work fine. Just anything that's going to keep it together. Should be probably focusing the tape on the back here folds are. Okay. So I've got my general size and shape, but now I want to check for firmness. So if I press down on this, you can see how it's really squishy and it, it where it seems airy from the side like this. If I press, it's actually, there's really nothing supporting it. So Ultimately, what's going to happen is you're going to roll out a flat piece of clay to lay it over your armature like this. You can kind of see about how thick the flat slab was that was laid over the armature. And then the student built on top with different features um, with various ways of sculpting. So 
what you need to know for that is just that we're gonna apply some pressure here. So it needs to be able to hold itself without smushing anywhere. Um, so what I can tell is I'm gonna need some more paper. So especially in this spot. Find any other soft spots. There's another soft spot right there. I'm just gonna add on to what I did before. Again, taking a larger piece. To wrap it up all together. It's just the support structure. Okay. I feel a lot better about this one now in terms of firmness not squishing it's gonna hold its shape and I like I like the shape that I've got how it's almost trapezoidal at this point that's kind of cool to be what I'm going for and so all I need to do now is make sure that I've got my name on it all right and then I can bring it to class